As much as the J6 fan community says they hate sedition hunters, they view themselves as somewhat of sedition hunters. You see, they seem to think that they're going to be able to identify these secret Antifa or feds in the crowd, so they start targeting other J6ers trying to get them in trouble, thinking it'll fit some random conspiracy. Well, tonight we learn that Sizzler, a so far unarrested J6er, on the Freedom Corner protest, which is pro J6ers, talked about how he tried to get the J6er Gina in trouble. Yes, that Gina, the famous J6 Gina, the same one who was on the corner herself and got in trouble for going. He brought up a story about how he posted a video asking who this woman was, and it was Gina. Gina literally contacted Sizzler by getting his phone number because they all know each other. He was trying to sedition hunt Gina, someone who's already been arrested. How does he know so little about J6, even the people he's been with in person? Now, how did Sizzler get a takeaway from this? His takeaway was maybe they should post more videos and point more people out since it gets them identified so quick. Imagine being a sedition hunter while being a member of the Freedom Corner protest and yourself being at the J6 protest and yourself simultaneously not having been charged yet and is someone that sedition hunters are pointing out. The cognitive dissonance of this is hilarious. So we know that J6ers get in trouble for attending the Freedom Corner protest. Now we know that at least one member of the protest is actively trying to get J6ers who don't attend in trouble. He's reviewing J6 footage trying to get J6ers in trouble. I guess it all makes sense if you remember that protest groups like this live off the donations and they need to have fresh blood going to court or jail to keep things like this running. This is why I find it so funny when people who support the pro J6er movement are also supporting Byron Donalds. Byron Donalds says he will release all of the J6 tapes. And remember what Marjorie Taylor Greene said, if they get released, a bunch of people are going to get identified and arrested. Well, maybe the people identifying are, you know, maybe that's going to be Sizzler. Maybe.